You know, I've come across with many false accusers, uh, especially uh, these days, uh, and I noticed some sort of pattern among them. There is a pattern among these false accusers, and uh, they do so exactly like Satan, how he did to Job, for example. And, um, like, they would uh, fabricate scene out of thin or thick air, like some sort of fart in the air, quite stinky, but it's just out of, like, nowhere. For example, like, there is no such thing as porn domains, yet because of their filthy mind, they equate adult-sounding names as porn. Not just that, they say it's sin without being able to actually spell out what th that sin is. In a domain name called, let's say, thebestbutt.com, is that sin? Or are they imagining something out of thebestbutt.com? Where is the sin committed? It seems like th these false accusers bring these sort of matters out in the public without even being able to address it privately. They love to uncover sin out of nothing rather than privately asking or covering it with love. Bottom line, they fabricate whatever quote-unquote scene out of thin or thick air based on their filthy and twisted minds. I call this setting up a false premise. As you know, a false premise sure leads to false conclusion, which in this case would be false accusation and condemnation. And these false accusers condemn others with such they do exactly opposite to what's written in the scripture, for example. Like in 1 Peter 4, 8, it is written, And above all things, have fervent charity among yourselves, for charity shall cover the multitude of sins. When in the scripture it says, love covers sins, because the false accusers obviously do not have love, they will uncover something that's not even any sin to begin with. In Matthew 18.15, Christ said, Moreover, if thy brother shall trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone. If he shall hear thee, thou hast gained thy brother. Christ said to take it up directly and privately if you are trespassed against. Yet many false accusers mind none of their businesses and attack you publicly based on their false premises and accusations. This is why they can never gain any true brother, because they do exactly opposite to what Christ said or even the scripture says. So, truly, God laughs at these wicked ones, and such wicked works of darkness will be called out.